Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. Here today with match footage from the June 2024 Course of Fire, and was able to pull out 7th place on this one, but even more importantly, scoring 91% of the overall score. So the winner score is set at 100, and then your point total is divided by that winner's score. So really happy with that 90%, even though it's 7th place and you know, trying to get on the podium, all that kind of stuff with a base class rifle scoring above 90%, in my opinion, is exceptional. So really happy with the match. Ended up dropping seven points on the NRL stages. So let's talk about them. First stage of the day was the rooftop stage. I was the first shooter. So I decided to try my one bag strategy and instantly regretted it. As soon as I got onto the rooftop, I should have gone bipod in the front, rear bag, I thought about the one bag solution being better because there's a lot of transition, a lot of movement, but it does not make up for the stability you get with two points of contact. I'm always an advocate for two points of contact and uh, didn't listen to my own advice and paid the price for it, dropping three on this stage. Shooter, do you understand course fire? Yep. Shooter, are you ready? Ready. Stand by, engage. Next up was a club stage. I actually had the privilege of designing both of the club stages for this month's match. And the idea with this one was that you had the 55 gallon bucket and a five gallon bucket, and you had to choose which one you wanted, and you had to engage an eight target KOL array from two inches down to a quarter inch. But if you missed, you had to move before re engaging. It was hit to move on. And then there was a final two shots at a far target. I hope so. I wrote it. I like the barrel bag. Are you ready? ready. Stand by. What? What? Stupid cold bore shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Back to the interval stages here, we have the pyramid stage with the KYL rack set at 35 yards, three positions. Basically stuck to my game plan, brought my heavy fill schmedium, and slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So was taking my time, making sure my bag was settled, making sure I was pushed into the bag, getting super stable in these positions. Brought the uh, mega bag for the lower position and was able to clean this one. Are you ready? Stand by, engage. Next up is the ladder stage. This went pretty well. It just took me a way more time than I thought it would to get stable on the ladder. It was extremely wobbly. So made the best of it, but I ended up missing that last bonus target. Stand by, engage. Oh, wobble city. Next up is the other club stage I designed. It was called Tired of Tires, and basically it was six positions in any order, two shots from each position at a target 135 yards away. Relatively generous sized target, however, these tires are wobbly as all get out, so you can see me really struggling here. Also, I have to mention that these stages were restricted to one bag only. We're kind of going back to old school NRL 22 rules where you could have only one bag. Top, yeah, top, good. Right, yeah. Shooter, are you ready? ready? Stand by, engage. Get back. 
Next, we have the chair in cinder block stage, and of course, my GoPro in the 100 degree weather decided to not record because it was overheating. So, I still have the trigger cam, but no GoPro footage. But I ended up using the exact same strategy from my strategy video. So, using the mega bag in the rear for rear support, game changer on its side on both positions, and uh, just trying to get stable, making good hits. What happened there? Last stage of the day was the prone stage, and I absolutely smoked it with the fastest time of the day, as well as cleaning the stage. So I'm super stoked to end the day on this stage. It was a lot of fun, but I think part of the key to the success on this stage for me, anyway, was setting up the dope card in a way that made more sense to me mentally in terms of target order. Because the way it's written out in the stage description didn't really make sense. It kind of got confusing. So what I did is I wrote down the target order as follows. And I'll put a picture of the dope card that I used at the matchup here. And basically, I separated out the middle target. So it was middle, and then a sequence of far, near, far, near, middle target, sequence of far, near, far, and then the middle target for the final impact. And I think that just made a lot more sense in my mind. And also, you'll see me, I have parallaxed and dialed for the middle target. And then the far target, because it's only five yards apart, it's about two tenths difference in dope. So I just hold, I favor the top of the target. And then the near target, I'm holding under 1.2 mils. But the target is so big, it's a mil and a half wide. 
because it's so close to us at 45 yards. So if you hold over, hold under one, one and a half, anywhere in between there, you're going to hit it. So don't parallax for that near target. If you want to go fast, it's extremely generous to hit. And maybe consider using the dope card layout that I use with that holdover technique if you want to try and go fast on this stage at your match. Do you want to say Yeah. Shooter, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Engage. Impact. Impact. Impact! 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 Stay down there! Stay down! Impact! Impact! That was quick. Nicely done. I think you beat me. No, I don't think so. 42, 1, 8. 42. Oh! <laughs> what were you? That was faster than you, Rhino, wasn't it? I thought Rhino was fast. <laughs> Someone get the fire extinguisher! <laughs> that seemed fast. All in all, this course of fire was very decent. It gave us some mental challenges, it gave us some movement challenges, as well as some, threw in some old classics in there. So, happy with how I did again. That, that 90% of the top shooter score for a base class rifle is, uh, Really proud of that and really satisfied with that result. So hopefully more of that to come in the future as I continue videos with the CZ457 MTR build. So stay tuned for that. And until I see you next time, as always, score more points. Mm -hmm.